I would like to um, warmly welcome you. My name is Olivier Hudeman. Uh, I work with Corporate Europe Observatory. And together with uh, Max uh, Bank from Lobby Control and my colleague Pia Eberhardt, we will take you on a guided tour of the EU quarter in which we will um, highlight the role of industry lobbying in the EU-US trade negotiations, the TTIP. We are standing here in front of the Charlemagne building of the European Commission and since the 1990s it houses several departments of the European Commission, uh, including the Commission's Directorate General for Trade. And DG Trade has a very long history of working really hand in hand uh, with business lobby groups. More than 93% of these behind closed door meetings between DG Trade and stakeholders happened with big business and their lobby groups to prepare the TTIP talks. So I hope this already gives you an idea of what we mean when we say that the TTIP talks are actually captured by industry and that the European Commission grants privileged access uh, to corporate lobby groups. The Foundation is one of the most important proponents of the transatlantic trade and investment partnerships. It can be seen as a perfect example of a European think tank and also a US think tank that pretends to do independent research uh, but in reality mm -hmm. promotes biased studies. And the Bertelsmann Foundation is now doing a, a TT promotion roadshow in the US. You can see that the Bertelsmann Foundation doesn't even pretend to be a neutral player. It doesn't do a study, but it does clear promotion. Uh, we now go out of the building and we walk up on the same side of Rue de la Loire to um, the US Chamber of Commerce. The US Chamber uh, of Commerce is the second biggest lobby actor on TTIP here in Brussels. In September, the Commission by accident released some documents, and those documents include uh, a detailed document from the US Chamber of Commerce and Business Europe on the issue of what is called regulatory cooperation. In practice, it would mean that business would have a seat at the table in the very, very first stage of, of uh, decision making. Before a Commission proposal would go to Parliament, business would have a chance to comment, to, to point out that this would create regulatory divergence and so on. What we will see in the many, many years of these negotiations is that regulations are already weakened, will already be weakened on both sides of the Atlantic through a highly invisible, undemocratic uh, trade diplomacy network where the Commission works hand in hand with, with big business. And the market access working groups are just one expression, one knot in this very dense network. Foreign Europe basically started in 1989 as an event organizer. It organizes events on central pieces of EU legislation, also things such as the trade talks, and it um, offers companies to be visible during these events and conferences. And what they provide on the website are certain packages, platinum packages, gold packages, with certain privileges, companies that they can buy for the events. Now concerning uh, concrete activities on TTIP, again a platinum sponsor offer for 10,000 euros. And law firms are an interesting actor in the TTIP negotiations for at least two reasons. One, because they are going to benefit massively from the agreement. And second, they are lobbying heavily around it. Um, but law firms in particular will benefit from one uh, chapter of the agreement if it comes as the Commission and the US government want to negotiate this, and that is the, the investment protection chapter uh, and the investor state dispute settlement system. This is what this system is about. It's about suing states uh, for public policy and making the public pay for private losses that investors have when, for example, a state puts in place an environmental legislation. Corporate Europe Observatory and Lobby Control will uh, continue monitoring and exposing uh, industry lobbying in the, in the TTIP talk. So thank you for your attention and uh, we look forward to uh, cooperating with you. Thank you.